Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, in this video, I'll be talking about how to use AI tools for Excel. All right, so let me just summarize what we're going to be doing here. So, I'll be talking about how to actually use and uh, so how to use the AI tool of ChatGPT which is chat GPT within an Excel file and how to use different functions of AI within an Excel file and specifically how to use and prompt chat GPT with specific cells or content within Excel and get the answer directly on the Excel file all right so without further ado let's go ahead and uh, and begin Okay, first off, we want to be able to download the ChatGPT add-on for Excel. And for that, we need to go here. We have to go to add-ons and uh, search for ChatGPT function now or the ChatGPT add-on. Now, just keep in mind, um, I'm just, I already added it here, but let me just go here and then click on add-ons and then click on more office add-on. And this is going to add uh, or to show you the... Um, the, the Office Add-ons App Store and just uh, search for chat GPT for Excel and hit enter and you should be able to get different uh, different icons or different add-ons I'm gonna add uh, this one right here which says uh, GPT uh, with a black circle uh, it's a free version and it has the highest user ratings so just click on add. Once you click on add, it's going to take a minute to load up. And then you should see this icon right here on your Excel, which is this icon right here, the chat GPT for Excel. When you click on it, you should, it's going to load up this little window on the side, which has some videos on how to use it for different functions or different AI functions within Excel. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of these functions and how they work and how they can be beneficial for you. So I've got a list of uh, a bunch of questions here, and I want to be able to ask the AI uh, chat GPT for Excel about the answers. So um, let's go ahead and demo this. So I'll write here equal AI dot ask. I'll hit the tab to open up the parentheses and recognize the function of the AI formula. And then for the prompt, I'm going to go ahead and click the cell which has the prompt. This is the cell which contains the prompt which I want to ask the chat GPT for the answers. Once I select the prompt, I close the parentheses and I hit enter and then it's going to take a couple of minutes to load up and then it's going to tell you the, uh, the answer, right? So let's say I want to be able to change this prompt right here. So I'm going to go in and type in, let's say, um, Microsoft and then hit enter and automatically it's going to be able to populate that to you know the CEO of Microsoft to Satya Nadella or I'm going to put like for example um, Amazon and then right there it just automatically answers the question once depending on the prompt that you feed it all right the second question here let's do the same thing well so I'm going to go ahead and write uh, equals AI dot ask I'll hit the tab and then I'm going to click on the prompt and then uh, this basically I want to be able to write an email telling my manager to reschedule our meeting to Friday as I'm on holiday right so I'm going to close the parentheses hit enter and then it will generate this for me I can just copy it and then I can just go here and paste it and bam now you have the nice email right there written for you which you can copy and paste it into your thing. Now, the advantage of doing it here over using traditional chat GPT is that you can put a list of all the questions right here in Excel, and you can just put everything in here and then run all the answers and run all the uh, ans uh, the AI function for the answer. Then you can just copy and paste them. You can run analysis on them if you want. You can be, be able to email it as a sheet directly to your, to your colleagues or coworkers, depending on what the assignment is that you are working on, okay? Now for the third question here, let's go ahead and do the same thing. So write equal AI dot ask, hit the tab, and then I'm going to click on the prompt, 
and um, and the prompt here what Excel formula should I use to sum a list of values only if they're greater than five so I'm going to close the parentheses hit enter and then it will give me the actual formula the good news here is the formula is going to give it to me um, it's going to give me the sum if function the explanation of the formula and then it's going to, it's going to also give me um, a demo of how to use the formula so that's the demo which you can go and copy it into your Excel sum if with the range and then greater than five and then it's going to uh, replace the range for the specific range of cells that you want to be able to sum up right and that will enable you to um, get the formula and the formula uh, syntax how to use it into your Excel okay so let's go ahead so that takes care of the ask function of the AI right now let's talk about the fill function okay so now the AI dot fill the AI dot fill function what it does is basically it fills information based on a specific from prompt that you feed it so that what what it does here is fills information based on a certain prompt that you feed it All right so what happens is it learns from the sample of the prompt and then it fills information accordingly learned from okay let's take a look at how this works okay so you go to let's go here at the fill tab uh, so here what I have here I have a bunch of cities and their country and their continent right so I've got two samples here for Tokyo and San Francisco along with the country and the continent so I'm gonna go right here and then I'm gonna type in equals AI dot fill I'll hit the tab and then the first thing is I'm gonna give it the example or the sample that I want to learn from right so I'm gonna choose the um, uh, the city right? and then the country that's the sample which I wanted to learn from and then I'll hit the comma and then I'm going to go ahead and choose the, the remaining cities as the actual partial information which I wanted to fill which is right here so I'm going to select this here and then I'm going to close the prompt uh, sorry I'm, I'm going to close the parentheses and then I'll hit enter. Now it's going to automatically populate the remaining of the data based on the cities which I selected for it to fill for me, right? So here, Rome, Italy is a uh, continent is Europe, uh, Paris, France, the same thing, Buenos Aires, whatever. Okay, that takes care of that. So let's do another one right here. Uh, in this example, I have a list of companies and I have the industry that they are in and the headquarters where are they located in terms of their headquarters so I've got all these bunch of uh, uh, companies here that I want to be able to fill the headquarters the industry and the headquarters of, of those countries so what so I'll, I'll use the same function so I type in AI dot fill hit the tab and then I'm going to feed the example or the sample that I want to learn from and I choose the entire uh, three columns and then you hit comma and then you for, you feel you feed it the partial information which you wanted to fill accordingly which is the list of companies so it's going to learn this as a sample and then, then it's going to fill the remaining gaps in those in the list of the partial column that you that you feed it and then you close the parentheses and then you hit enter and then it should be able to automatically populate um, the information from these companies so let's go ahead and check some of them uh, Microsoft it's a technology based company it's Redmond um, Adidas and Sportswear it's and I don't know where that is okay and then you've got uh, unique loads a fashion brand based in Tokyo you've got MR properties which are, it's a real estate it's based in Dubai Gulf Air Bahrain it's an airline company based in Maharak which is a city in Bahrain Kingdom Holdings it's an investment company based in Riyadh Saudi Arabia Okay, so this is the easiest way for us to be able to uh, use it to be able to um, extract or fill different information 
based on the information which I give it. Okay? Now, in the next uh, tab, we're going to look at the extract. Let's take a look at how you do it in the extract. The extract function is a separate and different function which allows us to be able to extract certain information from a cell and paste it into a, a new cell. So it's called ai.extract, which is uh, extract certain information from a cell or a sample, sample of data, and then paste the information into the uh, into a different cell different cell okay that's the a that's the extract function so look let's take a look at what happens here so if I wanted the traditional option here uh, something called the flash fill so here if I'm just going to type Sarah Smith and then I'll cut control E that should automatically populate that's this called the flash fill, the standard feature in Excel. But then if I want to be able to extract the information from a specific um, column, and I want to extract only certain information, like in this case, I've got the cell which has my name is Sarah Smith, my name is Jaden Sancho, and so on. And I only want to extract the names from these cells, right? I don't want all this other information stuff. I just want to extract the names. So how do I do that? So you go here. Go equal AI dot extract, hit the tab, and you put the values that you want to be able to extract, and then and then you put the names, which is uh, what you want to extract from it, right? The names, and then you close it, and then bam, and then it's gonna give you Sarah Smith, and then you drag it here. Oops not found not found okay let me try this okay um, let me try this one more time so I'll put equals AI dot extract and then I'm going to choose all the sample data which I want to extract from and then I hit the comma and then I click on names and then I close the parentheses and then you hit enter and it should be able to populate from every single row that you have here the names only based on the given criteria which is the names all right that takes care of that and um, now you have let's see William Acton you've got Mark Mason you've got George or Gregory Lee Lee you've got Jake Will and you've got Jaden Sancho which is the second row right here and of course Sarah Smith all right now we can do the same thing with emails so let's say you have an Excel sheet and you have a bunch of emails uh, with some gibberish information or some some maybe other data before the email or after the email. So you only want to be able to extract the email information from um, from the from the sample of the data. So you do the same thing. You hit equal AI dot extract, enter, uh, sorry tab, and then you click on the sample of the data which you want to be able for it to read from. Then you hit the comma. And then you click the criteria that you want to be able to extract from the sample data. In this case, it's an email. Click on that. And then close the close parentheses and hit enter. And it should be able to populate only the email addresses. Let's go ahead and check. Sam.Smith, which is right here for the first row. Then you have Mike Lee, which is on the second row. Jake Will, which is on the third row. And then you've got Sarah at pwc.co.uk. And then you've got Mark Smith and so on. Okay, let's do it the same thing, but from a city. So in this case, I've got a sample of data of of uh, the cities in different uh, countries, and I only want to be able to extract the city name from the text. So I'll go ahead and do the same thing. Equals AI dot extract, and then open parentheses, put the value or the sample of the data, which I want to be able for it to extract from. You hit the comma. You choose the criteria, which is the city name or the city, and then you close the parentheses, and finally you hit enter. And then it should automatically populate the cities for that um, uh, from the text which you entered. 
Okay, so that takes care of the ask and fill and the extract functions of AI, uh, which is ChatGPT works. Now, please note that this version of ChatGPT, uh, I think it's version 3.5, which means uh, the last information was updated was back in 2021. If you're using, if it's going to be using ChatGPT 4.0, which is going to be in real time, and that's going to be the most updated version, uh, I think it's there's a subscription model for that, which you have to pay for to be able to use the latest ChatGPT engine or version for it to be able to publish your information from, right? Um, if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and let me know what your thoughts. Uh, in the next video, I'll talk about the translate function and the table function of the AI um, for Excel. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.